never get stuck with a loser like you. The minute you feel tired, you drop to the ground like you was dead. That ain't natural in a horse. What do you take me for? You got the idea I'm gonna carry you? There's no more water, the sun's hot, and this ain't no place to lunch. Who's here? A man with bullets where his brains ought to be, black-hearted Sonny. Ah, now you get up, won't you? Because you're scared. There's an excuse for a horse. Get out of here. stubborn as you. I don't give me that look. No, I'll move you myself if I have to, and I don't care if it takes all day. soul into it, and by gum, anything can be done. When I was just a little boy, I used to say, can be done. And the people kept repeating, you can't do that, can be done, be done. You can fly with the birds in the sky, if you want, can be done. Can be done. A good friend can be got a sense of humor. Hang him to the nearest tree you find. <laughs> Looks like they're fresh out. Well, I'll get one if I have to plant them myself. Maybe it's better this way. He 
stole them horses. Well, whatever he did. I'm not going to let you hang a Christian with a little boy watching you. Now only ask the boy to look. Get out and be quiet. But you're not a sheriff, and if you're not a sheriff, you can't do what you're doing. You better get out. The boy just happens to be speaking the truth. He's not been given a fair trial. You're committing murder as plain as day. I say the lawyer here is right. That old man? You bet. He's one of the best. All right. We'll give you a trial, and we'll hang you after. <laughs> <laughs> Turkey with all the fixings. Chestnut dressing. Nice hot sweet potatoes. Uh, say, amigo. Hmm? Which side do you reckon is the longer? This one here or this one? Well, God, how stupid can you get? So, which side's the long side? This here? Or up the side. You must be crazy, mister. Or sides longer. Hmm. I'll wager that fat turkey of yours. You're on. Hmm. Well, first we'll measure it this way. I get. Hmm. Your turkey. A goddamn turkey was my turkey anyway. It was. Give me back that turkey. Give me my turkey, I said. No. Hello, 
fella. Never guess what I ate for supper. Hold it. It's obvious we don't need a trial. But we're gonna have ourselves a hanging party tonight anyway. Hey, you, I wouldn't do that if I was you. You'll have to come and stop me. <laughs> uh, that spoils the party. Sorry about that here, but I need that bastard alive. Don't worry, darling, here. He won't get far. Huh? Well, what's wrong? <laughs> Rest stop, huh? It's you. I wasn't trying to aim at you. I meant to get your attention. Well, why didn't you just shoot me? That'd really get me. Uh, are you a man? A man with a heart? Mm. Please. Uh, will you take this? Take it down to the little boy, Chip. The boy's my nephew. And you should tell him that my heart won't hold out. That's all that I'm asking of you. <sighs> See that the boy gets to Westland, will you? Is there a railroad through Westland? Yeah. Two. Well, now you can... Well, I mean, don't worry for the kid. Get smart, Chip, you hear? You're too young to be playing around with guns. You might have killed me, you know that? What are you trying to do? Gosh, I didn't recognize you. I thought you were one of those men who attacked my uncle. Oh, he's your uncle, huh? Come here. I talked to your uncle. 
And your uncle said, uh, well, uh, he, he said that he's going on ahead and that uh, I, I should take you with me to Westland. Uncle's dead. Uh, well, I don't know if he's dead, but look, calm down. There ain't nothing you can do, you hear? He did it to save me, to keep those bandits away from me, and now... Now, 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 stop it with your waterworks, huh? You're coming with me to Weston, like your uncle said, right? <sighs> nice town, Westland. Two railroads. Rufus. <coughs> Rufus. <coughs> I'll ride on the wagon, and you can rest up a little, right? All right. <laughs> I see a mean-looking man driving a wagon, and he's wearing two pistols. He's following you, isn't he? Why are you running away? Put it up. Here. Time to go. I'm not running away. I'm just dying to see Westland and those two railroads. Yeah! Cut out that howling. Oh, What's so wrong with the song, Sonny? Ha! It's boring back in here. Yeah, well, you're busy being bored. He's running further away from us. What do you mean, running away? You are driving him away from us with that mean temper of yours. Why don't you just try to talk to him quiet and nice instead of always taking your guns out and shooting them off? Oh. All right. All right, now go ahead and sing. Sing all you want. And ah. is the drifter. He's got no home or family, no room. You know something? My uncle wasn't a lawyer. What you trying to say? That you saved my life? It isn't that. They didn't hang you because they're good, right? Mm. And the guy following you is bad, right? Mm. He's following you. Yes, I know he's following you. Why did you say he wasn't? Why is he following you? Listen, Chip. I promised your uncle I'd take you to Westland. Don't break my back asking questions. Here, eat your supper. What's the matter? Where's the fork? What? That's the way, son. <laughs> Don't move, Coburn. Who's moving? Might I finish my supper of you in a hurry? Get up. Yeah, you are in a hurry. Chip, I can't keep my promise. What's that, a midget? He's the nephew of a lawyer friend of mine. Hold it. You can't kill a man in front of a child. 
You might, Mr. Butt. You can't kill a man who isn't armed. It can be done, Chip. <laughs> Don't worry, I ain't gonna kill him right now. First, you gotta marry my sister Mary, you lousy bastard. Uh -huh. You see, I ain't fixing to marry anybody. Let's get on with it. That's just the kind of guy you are, huh? If I kill you right now, my sister Mary would live the rest of her life in shame and dishonor. But if I kill you after the wedding, she'll be a respectable widow. I never laid a little finger on your sister, you hear? Oh, that's lousy coffee, and you're a lying skunk. Anyway, people around here think different, and what's true for them is true for me. So first, I reckon I'm marry you, uh, to her. And then I want to kill you here. Coburn, you can live a hundred years. It's easy. All you do is not get married. <sighs> right. Did you hear what the lawyer's nephew just said? <laughs> Hold this. Look. <laughs> you know, I don't care if I have to blast off your arms, both of your legs, and the back of your head. But you are going to marry my sister. Hey, take a look at this. Just take a look at, at what I got here. This here's a... Oh, well, this is a marriage license. Now, you and me are going to hunt around for a preacher. Can I look at that? Yeah, sure. Oh, no. Ah, uh, no. Here, look. Ah! Hey, Chip. Let's get out of here. You're just going to leave him here? Don't worry. We'll be seeing him. that sainted uncle of yours was so set on you coming here to this cemetery. He said it was the best place for me to make my fortune. You're crazy. This dump won't yield you a wooden nickel. My uncle was never wrong. Anyway, I like it here. Well, glad you're staying then. Yes, sir. As soon as you're settled, I'm gonna take the first train out of here. It's an honor to have you here in Westland. May the Lord be with you. To tell you the truth, we come here alone. Welcome to our little humble and peaceful community. Yeah, sure looks quiet. And we do all we can to keep it that way. It's a treat to have new people stop here. Stay in line? Just till something gets settled. Then I'll be on my way. And God's peace be with you. The Lord's grace be upon your head. Is he anyway? Yeah. Hey, sure come on. Boy, let's tell. John, close the top. Hurry. Something dreadful's gonna happen. Hey. I don't know. Watch out, Marky. Janet, are you coming out at once? Y'all better get them women and children oh, off the street. Hey, look at them, Lord. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, oh, oh. hey what's happening? Bolt the door. Come on, sit. Give me a hand here. Inside. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Oh, oh, hey, what's going on? The sheriff's going out for a ride. So what? 
I've been here two weeks now. When the sheriff goes for a ride, you can be sure there's trouble brewing. Just eating some dirt, can't you see? And you still reckon your uncle was never wrong? Never. Hmm. That's the fifty dollars my Aunt Vera gave us when my family left Oldfield. Well, that's a lot of money for a boy. I better go put this in the bank. You wait for me here. but we're closed. Oh, I only want to put this money and documents in a safe place. Well, seeing it's only a deposit, be quick about it. Whose name is the deposit in? Is the safe strong? Whose name is the deposit in? You know what's written here? It's a deed to a house called Well Digger's Roost. About half a mile out of town, it's a deserted house. It gives exclusive rights to the house and property to Chip Anderson. Right. Chip Anderson? Chip Anderson. I was expecting this. All right, get him up in the air, folks. You gotta know by now. Now, you know you shouldn't be here. How many times have we told you to get out of town? I'm going, but listen, first I've got to liquidate the bank. You leave that to us. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry it up, boys, while I go over to the saloon. I got dust in my throat. All right, let's go to one. Bring the one Ain't I seen you someplace before? I look in here. Hard to say with that thing on your face. How much you reckon we got? I don't think I had the pleasure. Take it, Leah. Hey, look at here. Yeah, give me a hand, Jess. Well, you can get out of my way. There you are. I guess they say, yeah. Come on, Leah. I'm thirsty. Hold it. That's mine. This money's mine. It was yours, fat boy. Amigo, I don't give a hoot about robbing banks, but that $50 don't belong to the bank. It's mine. Are you looking for trouble, fat boy? I'm not looking for trouble. Put your guns there. Now lock them up.
started out to be a simple robbery, and you've turned it into a major disaster. You can't do that. Can't be done, amigo. Watch out, Coburn! Stop right there. Shall I put my hands up, or is this okay? It don't matter. It's an informal execution. Okay, Ron, get the hell out of here. Get out! You're gonna pay for this too, you son of a bitch! Catfish, here she is again. Hey! Get back in the wagon. But I just wanted to say hello to Cobra. Get back in the wagon, I said. Oh, Cobra, Cobra, come on here. Oh. Hey, handsome. Hey. I'm right over here. <laughs> well, how in the hell can I see you if you're standing over there? I'm gonna find the preacher. Don't worry, Sonny. Yeah, yeah. Get hey. me a doctor. Cobra, where you going? Get a preacher. I'll be back. Ah, the hell with the preacher. Find me a doctor. God damn it. Come on, let's go. This is that famous well, huh? It sure is. Well, Chip, let's get some water. I think, Chip, that your uncle was a little touched in the head. My uncle told me to settle in Weston. I'm settling in Weston to make my money off irrigation. Water, huh? Nothing but stinking black mud. See for yourself. Hey, you two. Get out of here. Out of where? His private property. I know. He owns it. The owner's dead. So the land reverts to the community. There must be some mistake. His kid is the owner. It's written down right here. Well, see for yourself. Get out. Those are my papers. You can't do that. The boy.
boy's absolutely right. Might have read them before you tore them up. We told you to get. Understand? Say, you're handy with those. Do that again. Now clear out. <laughs> See that shit? The left, the right, then back. The left, the right, then back. Ah, get it! <laughs> Take the guns, Chip. Now we throw the rascals out. Get up! Get out! Get! Myopic. What? Myopic, you know, short-sighted. Well, I see very well. Then why do you use eyeglasses? They help me to think. Will you help me unload my stuff? Well, seeing old Sonny's out of the way, guess I'll make that train tomorrow. Nasty bump. Yeah, Feels like you were kicked by a horse. I would say it was more like a mule. Hmm. Sit over there, will you? I don't want you to watch this. <clears throat> now, no hollering, if you please. If you make a noise, you'll make me nervous. And I can make a mistake. And that'll be the end of your neck. Are you kidding? Nobody can make me holler. Let's go. Ready? Go ahead. <laughs> Why'd you holler? I told you you'd make me nervous. Who's hollering? God damn it, Doc. Right. I ain't hollering. I'm suffering. Now keep his neck nice and warm. Steam and hot compresses. Take care of it. I certainly will, Doctor. He needs complete rest. Hey, wait a minute, Doc. Yeah, wait a minute. I gotta get out of here. I... I got work to do. You will not leave this room. Good day. Now, see, he stays inside for a week. And keep a hot right. towel around his neck at all times. I know how to handle him, Doctor. I'm an expert. Good day. Good day, Doctor. But Big Coburn got away again, and I gotta keep following him. I got my own work to do. Oh, don't be silly. He said he was gonna look for a preacher. Honest. Sonny, I don't know what's gotten into you. What have you got against him, huh? Mary. Hmm? Would you please go back to your own room? Reduced, abandoned, and she's still an idiot. Poor Coburn. <laughs> Girls! Uh, here we are. Hi, oh, Sunny baby. How, How are you feeling any better? Let me hold you. And what is the doctor? All right, all right. That's enough. That's enough. Now go and find a piano player. I want you all to get down to work right away and bring me all your money every morning. Yeah? Sure. You always do. And when will you be getting out? And one more thing. I want to know where Coburn is to find out. Probably he's skedaddled by now. Well, I want to know where he's gone to. Now get out of here, all of you. All of you, go ahead. All of you, go ahead. Okay. I don't want you to go work in your little old fanny too hard here. <laughs> All right, now go ahead. Wow, we are strong. But who's stronger, you or a buffalo? Ever see a buffalo? No, but I got a feeling that you are stronger. 
Seeing you feel so sure. You know something? I thought she was pretty nice. Your fiance. I engaged to nobody. Then why is she so stuck on you? Don't start with all that why business, eh, Chip? Sorry, Coburn. How are you this nice fine morning? Mm. The Lord bless you and keep you. Good honest work, eh? May God grant you the health to keep it up. Ain't you sheriff around here? The fact is. We've been recently deprived of our pastor Fisher. Grant him eternal rest, and those that were his sheep beg to become mine. <laughs> I'm sorry, we don't have any sheep in this place. <laughs> well, I wanted to act as a pastor today, bearing gifts. Here. It's for you, for me. Yes. And candy to the boy. Big, bright jawbreakers. No. Let me put this simply and plainly, because simply and plainly, are you paying attention, brother? Oh, yeah, excuse me, Reverend Sheriff. Yes, yeah, simply and plainly is the best way, as I don't know that Westland is quite the perfect town for little children. Yes, you're right. We already ran into some bank robbers. How's that? Uh -huh. I heard another story. I heard there was a brawl in the bank, started by you. No, no, it's not true. $1,000 is the price we set to buy up the debris, as I can hardly call it a home, can I? For the child, may I suggest that he go and be with other good boys in another place. Didn't you hear what the Reverend Sheriff said? He wants to buy this house. He'll give you candy, too. I don't like candy. I don't like it. And why does he want it? He's offering us a thousand dollars, and this house isn't worth fifty. If he's offering a thousand dollars, it's worth more. My uncle was never wrong. We could take the thousand dollars and we'll stay here anyway. That's dishonest, Colburn. isn't selling. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Coburn, for your sake, as I came here hoping I might be able to perform an act of charity. You don't want it, apparently. As for the future, may God help you. I feel that maybe you might need him. You know, Chip, we got to find out what's behind all this. Gad, the smoke of Beelzebub. May I come in? Oh, excuse me. I thought you were the man Divine Providence had sent us. But I see I was wrong. Oh, no, you ain't mistaken. The preacher is just the man I was looking for. Son, I came up here today hoping you might be able to help me. But I'm afraid that in your condition, you're not capable of performing the small favor I wanted to ask. Really? Now, what small favor do you have in mind? The ways of the Lord God are infinite. It is the truth. Yes. Amen, brother. Thank you. An exchange of favors. I am going to let you and your pretty ladies perform here in the limits of decency. 
and you may rid my town of a bad influence. His name is Coburn. Do you have to keep up this noise all the time, for God's sake? The minute I get off to sleep, you start shooting those darn guns again. Oh, God, not again. A preacher. Coburn sent you, right? Hmm. You might say that. You hear that? Yeah. I knew Coburn was telling the Look, truth. Look, why don't you go back to bed and sleep, darling? I'll uh, talk to the pastor here. After all, I am the head of the family, right, Reverend? Oh, yes, surely, surely. The Almighty will show us the way for you. You may sleep, but my I dear. Want... Mary, go and lie down, darling. Go ahead. I must say, this is very puzzling. I think I missed the point. No. Well, maybe it's better that way. Look. I will need this. And I'll take care of Copeland for you. But you got to marry her for me. Please. <laughs> I'll be delighted. Who's the husband-to-be of this charming lady? Coburn. And as soon as you've got them married, I'll shoot him for you. No charge at all. Son, you'll be marching in. The saints will praise the day. Amen, brother. Amen. Now then, when's the wedding? Well, we're going to have to wait a, a, a little while yet, but only for a day or two. Now, I don't want a thing to happen to Cooper at the moment. And they mustn't be allowed to leave town. That bastard's all mine. Reverend. <laughs> Look at the wagon. See you, Coburn? Look at that. <laughs> Citizens of Western, keep your mouths closed, open your ears, and you'll hear the most amazing money-making offer of all your born days. Two dollars for a bucket of dirt. That's right, two honest to God greenbacks for one bucket of dirt. Read it, folks. It's written down. Two dollars. It's ridiculous, but it's true. Two U.S. government dollars for a bucket of earth. It's the offer of a lifetime. Hey, That's sir. I said two dollars. Can't you keep away from that stuff? No, sir. Ain't it kind of hard on the digestion? Why should it be? Two dollars. Two dollars a bucket. That's my offer, folks. And you get to keep the bucket. All I want is dirt, friends. And I know you got plenty. So bring it to me in the saloon. No crowd, Sonny. You two can be the lucky winner. Come on, come on. Young and old. If you can handle a shovel and carry a bucket, two bona fide U.S. dollars are yours. You look That's like you're worried. Dirt. Why? What's Pass the matter? Over to the saloon. Yes, sir, it's a fact. Two whole dollars for nothing more than... There's a tie between the dirt that fool there is buying and the sheriff's knack for running folks out of town. Better get busy around this burg and ask some questions. See, and everybody got to hear about it anyway. Well, Sonny says it's a scandal, and, well, it's got to be put right. 
Well, he must be as crazy as a hoot owl. No, Coburn, you're wrong. Mary was a... Well, you know. And her brother's got to defend her, right? I guess you are as crazy as he is. Come on, girls. How about you? Now you gonna buy me that drink, Baldy? Whiskey. The stuff's homemade. For the water of the premises. You betcha. I don't want it. Hey, friend, any girls around here? In town, you mean? Huh. Yeah, but they don't normally come in the saloon. I know, I know, but I mean uh, women. Sure, over there. No, those girls that do just a little business, you know, around town. How's that again? Chip, why don't you go dig a bucket of dirt and maybe that old nut will give you a couple of dollars for it. I get what you mean. You mean nose. Right. Ain't a one for miles. Except there's a widow woman. Uh, Mrs. Warren. Can you find her? Mm hmm Where'd she hang out? Right upstairs. What do you want? Huh. I'd like to come in and talk with you. <laughs> That's what they all say. It's the truth. I need, well, some, some information. You don't have nothing to be scared about. Uh, I'll just sit down here. Uh, it's better here, I think. Much better. <laughs> Information, I think it was, you said. Uh, well, I'm new here in town, and, uh, well, I, I could use a bit of filling in. You probably know the right people here real good. You made friends here. Uh, I mean, I think that... Well, you must know about every man in town, but now... If there's anything uh, I can do for you... <laughs> well, someone in this dried-up water hole... keeps trying to run people out of town. Oh, brother, you're telling me. That goddamn judge hasn't left me with one single friend. What judge you talking about? Franciscus. He's the judge, the preacher, and sheriff. Franciscus is judge here, too? Yeah, since the old judge died. Poor McLaren. He was a pretty good friend of mine. Oh, God rest his bones. Then there's something here in Westland that has a pretty special interest for Brother Franciscus. Hey, when you get talking here with uh, your friends, you know, don't they ever discuss business? Never. But uh, that don't stop me from getting an idea occasionally. Come on, tell me. Gold. What else could it be? Of course. It must be gold. They're looking for the vein, the deposits. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Mrs. Uh... Warren. <laughs> oh, 
War. You are nice, you are. Pretty also, yeah. Well, thank you for everything. Wait, big boy. Yeah. Seeing as you're here now, were you really interested about having uh, our little talk? Do you have any brothers? I'm alone in the world. Hmm. Tastes like. Next, please. Yeah. Here he goes again. Yes, this is it. All right. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Clem Sawyer. Clem Sawyer. Yeah, put that there. Much obliged. Next. Next. No, only one, son. Good. Very good. Hold that, honey. This is the real thing. Now, what's your name, son? Where are you from? Chip Anderson, Well Diggers Roost. Ah, uh, do tell. Pack no, up wait, and go home. You don't understand. Get out of here. No, you no, devil, no. son. No, I told I'm you to clear out. Anyone. Hold it. One thing I can't stand is see a man pushing a kid around. Oh, can't you? Well, let's get started on someone that's grown up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Big Jim. Please excuse him, Mr. Copeland. Jim is part Irish and part Indian, so he's apt to get a night nervous. Pray the Lord to help you keep your temper from now on. You can breathe easier, Copeland. Nobody will bother you, not while I'm still mayor. Come on, Chip. Oh, yes, the little boy. Don't worry, he'll be protected. He's bright. We could use more lads like him. Fine boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, where's my horse gone to? Who took him? They were your men. I saw them here before. Did you? You're not only bright, but you got sharp eyes. Were they your men? Uh, yes, they were. I must say, there was no harm intended. We want you both to stay. You mean it. First, you want to chase me out of here, and now... It's nothing serious. Just to settle that business at the bank. And don't forget what happened just now. Because you could get put in jail for less. But I know what type of person you are. And you're not about to try anything like skipping town. Ain't it a fact? <laughs> How are you gonna make it without a horse? There's no trouble about that. There's a railroad. There should be two, right? According to your uncle. Oh, yeah, sure. Don't worry, Chip. They won't lay a finger on you. We got the sheriff on our side. Oh, I'm sure you'll be all right. Didn't you notice the change that's come over the sheriff? I know you've got to go. That brother-in-law of yours is going to get better, sooner or later. Brother-in-law, huh? Watch what you say. Sorry, Coburn. Come on now. Here you are, eat. Where'll you be going? Where as I can get from here. 12,500 miles. That isn't far. Why ain't it far? This is the earth, okay? Do you know that the Earth is round? No. Well, we're here. The farthest place you can get is here. Huh? As soon as you take another step, you start coming back. Well, that'll do me just fine. Then there's Mary. You like her, don't you? Of course I like her. Why don't you marry her? Oh, shut up, won't you? If I shut up, how can I finish my dinner? Blah, 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 blah. We'll make a bet, man to man. If you win, you get to talk all you want. If I win, you don't get to open your mouth again before tomorrow morning, you hear? All right, Coburn. You were just drawing me circles, hmm? Now, Chip, which is longer, this 
or around here. Wow, well, that's easy. Anybody knows that the longest is the perimeter of the base. Hmm. Very what? Ah, well, talk all you want. No matter. I won't bother you, because I'm going to bed. Good night, Coburn. Everybody's a sheriff here. Here, Rufus. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me back my horse. Hey, what do you want? Got you tied up. To restrain my enthusiasm. That's no way to get married. What made you? You were the one to tell him, and you tied him up. I saw you. We're in church, my boy. We don't talk. Well, this morning you're both convened here to be united in rightful wedlock. Mary Bronson and uh, Coburn. Coburn. Hmm. Your first name? I got the contract right here, Reverend. Ah, you brought it with you. That makes everything legal. Uh, now then, ah, the Lord shows us the true way. Now, do you, Mary Bronson, take for your lawful husband, Hiram Coburn, here present? Yes, yes, oh, yes. My dear, I'm most happy to hear it. Oh. <laughs> and uh, you, Hiram Coburn, take for your lawful wife, Mary Bronson, here present. Hmm? Well, yes. You see, it's painless. Well, as County Justice of the Peace, I pronounce you man and wife. Good. Now, dearly beloved, let us proceed to the religious service. Forget it. Forget it. It's okay, just as it is. What? Have you gone completely out of your mind? I want to be married by the preacher. And I said that's enough. I'm dying. For the Lord's sake, Sonny, don't go on like that. He's my husband now, isn't he? Sonny, I beg you. Will you stop all that hate and bitterness, please? Get back to your room. <laughs> Let's take a walk. Outside. What do I do with this? <sighs> Sorry about your wedding night. It's 
Sorry about mine. Good luck, Chip. Just a minute. What do you want? You can't kill him now. I can't? No, you can't. Coburn isn't only your sister's husband. He's the father of your nephew. Nephew? <laughs> What nephew? She's expecting a baby. <coughs> Is that true, Mary? Yes, he's right. Holy God. You're gonna kill me now, or ain't you? I can't kill you now, you lousy bastard, you goddamn... Sonny! Now, hold on. Yes? I guess you've forgotten we made a deal. I made it, I thought, with a gentleman. You're right. Now, I'm going to teach you a lesson so that you will never forget your brother-in-law. You must stop this dreadful stop exhibition. Will you hit my husband? You're both Christian. No! Stop it! Uh, oh, he's calm, Mrs. Oh, oh. 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 Daddy! <laughs> you animal! I'll take care of you, you beast! Now you know why uh, I didn't want Donnie. to get married. Uh, oh. oh, Sonny. Oh, darling, how do you feel? Hey, he broke my cigar. Bastard. <laughs> hey. Hey, is she getting in? Then? The train. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> and what about the bell? Ah! <laughs> when that bell goes ding ling ling. <laughs> well, when's the next train coming in? <clears throat> Are you going west? Yeah, west is all right with me. Well, when'd she get in? Yeah. To the west? Never. Well, the east is all the same to me. Oh. Follow me, then. My little gray home in the east. Yep, this is the road where that big old locomotive was supposed to highball it here and she'd go... Competition, monopolies, and position. The usual dirty politics. Yes, sir, I tell you, that's what it was. That's all. I say, kill them all. All of them. They all must go. Then we could take over the world. <laughs> Not one cook left. Not one. Here? No. No. Then a man will really be able to drink in peace. Two railroads, huh? That's what your uncle told me. Your 
sainted uncle who was never wrong in his whole life. Hey. You knew all the time there were no railroads. You mean you would doubt my uncle? No railroads anywhere. No horses in the whole town. Even mines disappeared. Yeah. But there's the mule. I'll go on that. Anything. Sit down and have something to eat before you go. Chip told me you hadn't had anything since the other night. I'm not hungry. Why are you eating, then? Because I'm nervous. Is that any way to eat your dinner? Will you please sit down and eat like a proper and civilized person? Mary, you know you're a married woman now. Nobody can say those awful things about you anymore. So will you just let me eat the way I want to? Like a hog? Yeah, like a hog. Because it's the way I like eating. Understand? We're only just married. And that's no way to talk to your wife. <laughs> I never want to set eyes on you again. And what's more, a husband goes to bed with his wife. I didn't promise to do that. Hey, you. Why didn't you kill me? Because I want to see you suffer. But don't worry, I'll kill you. As soon as he's 21. Who? The kid. What kid? <laughs> You're the father. What the? Yeah. Uncle Sonny. Excuse me. I don't eat with hogs. Chip Anderson, well diggers roost. Hmm. Ah, that's it. Anderson Welldigger's Roost. <laughs> I found it at last. <laughs> hey. I found it. I found it, Chip Anderson. <laughs> Chip, open up. Ah, there you are, young fella. Hi. What do you want? Uh, good morning to you, my boy. May I? May I come in? What do you want? Some more dirt? Oh, no. I mean, yes. Me in a way, well, I suppose I do. Well, may I? Come in. <laughs> You see, I thought I might stay. 
Here. Yep. And settled down to Westland. <laughs> and so, I took a look around, and I saw this nice little house of yours. <laughs> hey. You are the owner of this place here, aren't you? I sure am. Ah, that's mighty fine. <laughs> I like this house. I really do. It's light and airy, and there's no noise, and a fine little garden. <laughs> I'm an old man now, and I'd like a bit of peace and quiet to end my days. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sir. You won't buy it. Uh, hey, good morning. Is he a relative of yours? No, my partner. Uh, glad to know you. Uh, I was just saying <laughs> as to how I'd like to to buy this house. Yeah. Well, I could make you. Hmm, an offer of, uh, hmm, I don't know, uh, let's say, uh, well, uh, $5,000? <coughs> What'd you say? $5,000? Uh-huh. What are you looking for? Nothing, nothing. Just peace and quiet. Nothing more. Like I told the boy. <laughs> you know, your uncle was right. Your fortune is here in Westland. He said five thousand dollars, huh? I heard we're not selling. He heard you, but he's not selling. Well, well now. Let's see. If I was really pressed, and uh, as a great sacrifice. Mm -hmm. I uh, just might uh, see my way clear to up the figure. I'll give you one final offer. Mm -hmm. Ten thousand dollars. <gasps> Why? Ain't worth more. No, it ain't. Not by a damn sight. And the kid ain't selling. You can offer all you want. What is this? A railing. What's this made of? Wood? Yep. Wood? <laughs> My ass. Yeah, only wood. But uh, this smart boy don't believe that. He knows. <laughs> yeah, sure, he knows. Chip knows. Because his uncle told him before he died, this is gold. Pure gold. Why? Now we can go on with the ceremony. Bless this fine new boy, this fledgling arrival to our flourishing parish. Whoa now, whoa. What name shall we baptize the baby with? John. John. No, Alfred. No, John. Alfred, no. I might be able to accommodate both of you. Now I would say, John Alfred. I hereby baptize this boy with the name of... Uh... Mold found what he wanted. I'm sorry, I have to go. But, Pastor... Emily, let me have Alfred. Where's Big Jim? In the Please, saloon. John. Alfred, and we're going home. Are you sure that's your wife? Jim. Jim!
wanted to give us $10,000. Yeah, he wanted to, Chip. There's no gold. What are they looking for around here? I'm looking for you. Oh, it's you again. Well, what do you want? If you're a man, defend yourself. Come on. If you can't remember the last time, I can help you out. Pick up the gun. I'll count to ten. <laughs> One. Two. Three. Coburn doesn't have a pistol and can't shoot. Four. Yeah, ain't that too bad. Five. Well, seeing I'm back in business again, uh... One hundred dollars? Six. How much? Two hundred? Uh, seven. One-third of Well Digger's Roost. One-third? You're a crook, a dirty louse. Uh, eight. Nine. Stop the count! You keep your big nose out of this. Now, look, I ain't got a big nose. I've got a little one, but I'm sticking it in anyway. Now, you get the hell out of here, or I'm going to drill you an extra buttonhole here. I got plenty of buttonholes. Now, get out of here. Run! Thank you, brother. You're welcome, partner. And you too, you little midget. Can't a body have a bit of peace around here for a single minute? Get inside and wash up for lunch. You too, Chip. Rose a humdinger. my left foot from my right. Oh, you're a fine dancer, Coburn. Mm. And you're sure making me proud and happy. Uh, uh. Now, don't you go getting riled and sour with me. I know you love me. Is that right? Mm -hmm. uh. That's uh. enough. Now, don't you go tiring yourself. You got to think of the baby. Oh, yeah, I do. Come on. Hey, 
find yourself ruined for the rest of your life. <laughs> oh, don't take any notice of what Colburn tells you. He's as grumbly, grouchy, and crotchety as an old bear. So all in all, I think you'll make a good husband. The only trouble will be when he finds out I'm not in family way. <laughs> Sooner or later, women get children, don't they? Yes, Chip. You're right. I will be. Hey. Look at your brother. Sonny, why are you cleaning your gun here at my party? What do you need them for anyway? Well, you never can tell. I don't want to end up like... like Cooper. children inside. Go ahead and shoot the two of them. Don't stand there gaping! Shoot! Why can't you hit him, for God's sake? Shoot him! Shoot him, I tell you!
Look at that. Hey, Jim, look at your well. Oh, boy, look at that stuff. Look yeah. at that. Thank you, Father. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You're millionaires now. And you finally caught on, huh? That's oil. What's oil? There's another word for that. Yeah. Yeah, but what a beautiful word for a... Yeah. What the devil is all this spill? It must be your doing, Coburn. Can't you just brawl like other men? No. You have to go and get yourself messed up and make a hog of yourself. Just look at that filth. Hello, you all. It's all sunny. We're leaving. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. On. Oh, now Sunny's girls on top of everything. Hey, where are you going? Now that you're married to my sister, I'm going to have some fun. And then seeing that from now on, you're going to be wishing you were dead. I ain't going to kill you anymore. Sonny, let's go. You can't go. Stop it, somebody. Lovely. Why, why did I have to have a brother like that? Take care of my one third here. We don't want to Are you coming or not, Sonny? Sonny will be late. The moment my back is turned, you start making trouble. It's a complete disaster. My party's ruined! Ruined! Well, don't just stand there, you fool! Can't you put a plug in that darn well? Can't you? Uh, oh, my, it's about time, honey. Oh, Hold on, wait a minute. The decoration. How good you, you <laughs> I must say, you beat me at my own game. But let me make a suggestion. We join forces and work together. All right? Hey, you're right in the back. <laughs> <laughs> no! And you ruined the party all by yourself! You got everything messed up! That's all you care about me! That's all I mean to you! You fruit! You won't! Hot stuff, huh? Come on, let's get one for me! Bye, Bye. you wanted, wasn't it? Ruining my housewoman party. You're off. You dirty, no good skunk. That's all you are. A monster. That's what you are. A heartless monster. She wasn't expecting a baby. But there is no baby. We lied to you. But you can't do that. This situation, I sure can. Yeah. Can do, amigo. No, Cooper! I didn't mean it! I got carried away! No, don't, no, Cooper! You can't do this! Exactly. And the people kept repeating, you can't do that, can be done, be done. You can fly with the birds in the sky, if you want, can be done. A good friend can be found everywhere, if you look well enough. Light a star, yes you can With your finger, finger tip A bit down, you see it's not impossible Oh no, it's not impossible Can be done, can be done If you really want to 